All right, chip of the day. Everybody loves chip of the day. So today we are going to have a special request. Yes, a chip of the day spy special request. One of my viewers wanted to see a CD 4051. So this data sheet covers 4051, 52, and 53. We'll be looking at the 4051. And it's a really nice part. I like the way they drew it. It is an eight-way switch. It's an analog switch. So there's an input or an output. It's bi-directional. So you can select which one of the eight channels you want to have. And that's selected by this uh, binary code, ABC. So whatever code you have here, you can select zero through seven. There's also an extra switch that's an inhibit switch. So you can, you can just completely disconnect uh, the circuit by uh, raising this inhibit pin and that will disconnect this, uh, this switch here. All right, so um, it is a 4000 series CMOS part. So it's good from uh, three volts to 20 volts. Um, the um, range with which the analog, so this is a, an analog device. So the, the range of the analog is basically the range of the uh, voltages that you put in to a certain extent. We'll, we'll get to that. Um, let's take a look at the, uh, let's see here. This is um, a use case, a typical application. They have a microcontroller controlling the four bits. And they're using this as a, ski, a keyboard scanner. So they have a keyboard over here and they basically scan Everything has to pull down, so as you scan along, you just see zeros everywhere. And then when there's a button switch, it goes up to this 3.3, .3, and then you'll see a full scale on your A to D. Um, so that's the way this particular uh, application is made. So I figured, hey, why don't we go ahead and use their application? So here is, um, here's the device. So I have a microcontroller. Let me put on some uh, put on some power here. All right, let's zoom way down so you can see it operate. It's a small display. There we go. So you can see it's counting. It's counting five, six, seven, then zero. So the first number is the channel number, and we can see on channel three there's something, but on channels four, five, six, seven. 0, 1, and 2, there's nothing, but on channel 3, there's 5, 12. Okay, so this program, uh, CD4051, so this program is going to cycle through everything and run the uh, output of the multiplexer into one of the analog pins, and you get uh, bits between 0 and uh, 1023. So um, right now it looks like it's about halfway. And let me, let me change this. All right, so it's gonna go around. One, two, three. This time it's 1023, because I pulled that line up to five volts, okay? And otherwise I have it set to halfway between uh, zero and five, and it gives me the, uh, the uh, 512 all right so uh right now it's on on i'm inputting something on that pin let me put it on zero so when it goes around the uh zero channel should have some voltage on it now uh no oh one i'm not i don't know where zero is so one one has the voltage on it now but anyway yeah you can move these around to different uh different channels let's see which channel i got this time I got channel five that time. So yeah, there you go. I have pull downs, just like their circuit. I have pull downs on all the pins. And um, I have one, one pin that I'm, that I'm modulating. I'm making it go up and down. Um, and uh, yeah, so there you go. Like I said, it's bi-directional. So you can um, input one of eight things or you can output one thing and select which one of eight things you want to output. So yeah, it works. It works, works both directions. 
All right, there you go. Chip of the day was a CD4051.